Hey guys. So for many out there, it's long been established that there is life and possibly even intelligent life on other planets. We often discuss reports of close encounters with supposed extraterrestrials, accounts of alleged abductions and the numerous UFO sightings reported almost daily. For many of us, there's no doubt anymore that there is other life out there. Though the term out there is becoming somewhat outdated. Lately, we've been increasingly considering the possibility that these phenomena might be multidimensional or interdimensional. Or perhaps they have a bizarre origin that we can't even begin to comprehend. However, when we look towards science and space exploration, we find that there's still no definitive evidence for the existence of life on distant planets. This sometimes leaves me pondering. If there are so many visits and close encounters with such a variety of beings or aliens as some would call them, where do they come from? Shouldn't we expect life to be teeming nearby Earth? But perhaps the idea of multi or interdimensionality comes into play here, suggesting that life might unfold on countless planets in the vicinity, making the assumption of life being abundant in our immediate cosmic neighborhood too simplistic. Yet it seems we've moved a step closer to answering the question of life on alien planets. K2 18b is an exoplanet that has garnered significant interest from researchers due to its location in the habitable zone of its star and its potential similarity to Earth. Apparently, the James Webb telescope has detected potential biomarkers on the surface of K218b. Such a discovery would be a significant leap forward in understanding the universe. And more importantly, it could fundamentally alter our perception of the prevalence of life in the cosmos. We wouldn't be alone anymore. And that's a comforting thought, because the notion that there is no one out there besides us is somewhat eerie. But amidst all the excitement, we must remain cautious. It's crucial to ensure that these clues are genuinely conclusive. In 2019, signatures of water vapor were detected in the atmosphere of K218b. Shortly after, a research team identified the planet as a potentially habitable so-called Hycian planet. Now the latest research suggests that carbon-containing molecules like methane or carbon dioxide could be present in the planet's atmosphere. Now what's particularly intriguing is the apparent presence of traces of the molecule dimethyl sulfide or DMS, a molecule typically produced exclusively by life. On Earth, it's primarily produced by photoplanktonic organisms in the ocean as a byproduct of their metabolism. So DMS alone is not indicative of intelligent life, but rather a potential sign of biological activity or life in general. To detect more complex life, a combination with other biomarkers would likely need confirmation amino acids or more complex hydrocarbon compounds. Besides biomarkers, one could also look for other indicators, provided they're technically feasible. Surface features suggestive of more complex life forms, seasonal changes or atmospheric patterns. The discovery of organic molecules in the atmosphere of K218b would be a significant event. Organic molecules containing carbon are essential for the chemistry of life on Earth and are regarded as the building blocks of life. Whether we've truly found life in whatever form on K218b 
we might learn in the coming month as the James Webb Space Telescope delivers further insights into the exoplanet. Whether the life there is complex or not is irrelevant to me, as long as it's indeed life. If confirmed, I'm certain that there's so much more out there than we've ever dared to dream of.